these are the world's most incredible skate parks. This is what happens when you spend millions to build the best ramps, jumps, and stunts. So it's time to take a look at 15 next level skate parks. Number 15, Stoppelbadsparken. Kicking things off is one of the most famous skate parks in the world, Stoppelbadsparken. Completed in 2005, Stoppelbadsparken is in Malmö, the third largest city in Sweden, and has become a major destination for skaters far and wide since then. The skate park sits in an old shipyard slipway and was built by the aptly named company Place to Ride. The park is made entirely of concrete and consists of an overall bowl-like landscape with a street-inspired area, so you can expect to see a pretty diverse range of skaters here. So no more running from security guards while you try to clear 15 stairs or pool hopping. Stavelbadsparken is an awesome and safe place for skaters to cut loose, get better, and just hang out away from the trials and tribulations of life. The park is fully open to the public, totally free to enter, and covers well over 3,000 square feet of space. In 2014, they even added a few metal sculptures that are totally skatable, and new installations are added here and there to keep things fresh and new. But the best part about Stoppelbedsparken is that it wasn't designed and created by a bunch of squares. The company behind it worked closely with the local Malma skaters to create a local utopia. Number 14, Mellow Park. Berlin is an awesome city full of great food and kind people, but it's also totally punk rock, and so it makes sense that it's also home to an awesome skate park. Berlin's Mellow Park is definitely worth a visit, but it's also a bit unorthodox compared to some other popular parks. The park is the biggest outdoor skate park in all of Europe, sitting on two and a half acres of land, and it manages to look like one giant organized mess. But there's a method to the madness here. So just what can you expect to see when you hit Mellow Park? Well, there's a huge indoor skate park that's a total dream for any vert skater out there. But if that isn't quite your thing, then the outdoor area is all about street. Rails, half pipes, quarter pipes, and a nice big bowl in the back are where it's at. But to add to the insanity, Mellow Park is also a great place for BMXers to come and let it all hang out. There's a BMX track and even a section for dirt jumping. Everyone can agree that this place rules, even if they can't agree on which sport is better and which is for posers. And sure, this is a great place for casual skaters to kill some time, but Mellow Park also hosts some sweet contests and events, and is even sponsored by Red Bull. Number 13, Venice Beach. If you're a fan of stuff like Dogtown and Z-Boys, you know all about Venice Beach, California. One of the birthplaces of skating, it was even home to the famous skate spot of the 80s and 90s known as The Pit. And while The Pit may have been torn up and torn down since then, the legend still lives on. Venice Beach still has a sick park that both skaters and spectators alike come to check out. It is a street skater's paradise that offers a history lesson as well. There's plenty of obstacles to overcome here, literally, like rails and ledges, stairs and transitions, with a seemingly endless amount of combinations to hit. And the best part is, it's California, so the weather is always skating weather. And if you fancy yourself a street artist, then you may even be able to lay down some tags when no one's watching. And remember that it's Venice Beach, so aside from some of the best skaters in the world, you're bound to run into plenty of interesting strangers and weirdos with their own story to tell. Number 12, Tetuan Skate Park. Don't call it Tetuan Skate Park, just call it Tetu. Otherwise, you'll sound like a shoebie in a square. Built back in 2009, Tetu sits in the heart of Madrid, Spain, and it's the go-to spot for the locals. What sets Tetu apart from the rest of its large central manual pad, which deviated from the more traditional pyramid design, giving the place a unique street-style look and feel? The designers really knew what they were doing here, and they were able to marry look and function perfectly. Because you can't just look cool, you have to be cool too. Tetu boasts 11 stairs to clear and probably wipe out on, handrails of all different shapes and sizes, a quarter pipe, bank, ramps, a euro gap, and all sorts of obstacles. There's pretty much something for everybody down here, so you can bet that the place gets pretty crowded in the late afternoons, especially since it's totally free to skate here. Just make sure you keep out of the way of anyone better than you. If you want the park totally to yourself, it's open 24 hours a day, so you can skate here whenever it's best for you. Number 11, Amazing Square. When it comes to awesome infrastructure, Japan really knows how to do it, so there's no way they're skimping out on their skate parks. And with a name like Amazing Square, it's a safe bet that skaters' expectations are gonna be pretty high. You better believe that they're exceeded here. 
located right in the awesome and bright city of Tokyo. Amazing Square is home to an epic assortment of both street and transition obstacles. But Amazing Square's real claim to fame is what the locals lovingly refer to as the obscene four-meter vertical ramp. And you can bet that for every sick run you see here, there are even more people totally eating it. But if you're not ready for that behemoth ramp, then you can still check out the small-scale flat area to work on manuals and kickflips. But for the more intermediate skaters, there's an awesome outdoor space with stairs, rails, and the half-pipe. But if indoor's more your thing, then kick push to the indoor area that's home to the wood-floored street courses. The park itself has a lot going on, and it's a major destination for some of the best skaters in the world. Number 10, Ierre Skate Park. If your mind doesn't go to skating when you think of France, then think again, because it's home to one of the best parks in the world, Ierre Skate Park. It's one of the best destinations for street skating, and it's such a skater's paradise that you'll probably forget about all of the gorgeous beaches nearby. The park was renovated back in 2009, when they went ahead and added 15 obstacles to clear and grind, like your Rodney Mullen or Daewon Sung. The entire park encompasses a serious 40,000 square feet of concrete and gives skaters things like flat bars, banks, doubles, and single stair sets, pyramids, ledges, and handrails to enjoy. There's even a couple of quarter pipes for some nice drops. Unlike some of those other parks we've seen so far, this park is open from 8 in the morning to 10 at night, so it's the perfect place to play hooky and cut loose. Plus, the nearby surf isn't half bad either, so why not bring both boards when you come here? Number 9. Spot Skate Park of Tampa, better known as Spot, is, well, the spot if you're looking for a place to skate with some of the best that Florida has to offer. This place is perfect for beginners and pros alike, and is world famous for its annual Tampa Pro Contests. Anyone who is looking to rise in the ranks of the skating world is gonna be there. The Spot has both indoor and outdoor parks for your skating pleasure, but they've also come up with the perfect way to keep people coming back for more and more. While the park itself may be awesome, they change their street course all the time, so you literally never get bored here. And perhaps it'll make you appreciate those rails or that gap all the more, because you never know when it's going to go away. Pyramids, rails, transitions, Spot really does have something for everybody here. The only catch, though, is Spot asks for an entry fee, but they give discounts to paramedics, cops, firefighters, and anyone serving in the military. And if you've been skating for a few decades, then pop on in after 5.30 on Tuesdays for Old Man Tuesdays, where tickets are just three bucks for grabs. Oh, and girls always skate for free. Number 8. Skate Agora Tattoo isn't the only place in Spain to shred. Skate Agora in Barcelona is a little on the younger side, but it's quickly become one of the best places to skate anywhere. The entire spot's about 54,000 square feet, and it's a great place for beginners, intermediates, and pros. Because when you build a park, you want to make it accessible to everyone. Built by California Skate Parks, Skate Agora is the first certified street league park in Europe and has the perfect location too, overlooking the ocean. It's a very Californian thing to do, but at Skate Agora you'll find skaters tearing up the four stairs, the low handrails, the upslopes, and the low flat rail with the manual pad. And there are of course plenty of wide banks and gaps to be found at Skate Agora. And there are most definitely some pro-level obstacles here, making this park one of the best skating proving grounds in the world. If you want to be a pro, then head to Skate Agora. Number 7. Area 51 With a name like Area 51, you better believe that this skate park is totally out of this world. You can find Area 51 in the Netherlands, and it's one of the best parks in the entire country. What makes this place really memorable, though, is that it's made entirely out of wood, which is great if you fall a lot. Hey, everybody's gonna start somewhere. It is a great space with a nice street style with all sorts of rails, banks, and ledges, and of course, some nice transitions. And if you're looking to catch a little more air than the street can give you, then go ahead outside and hit the bowl and see how long your run can go. Area 51 is always gonna give you the best of both worlds, and while it may not be the biggest park in the world, it seriously has everything you'll ever need, which is all anyone can really ask for. Number six, Libby. California may be the most widely known mecca for skateboarding and skating culture in general, but there's plenty of history rooted in the United Kingdom as well. The skate park, simply known as Livy, was built all the way back in 1981 and was a key player in the Scottish skating scene. 
Since 1984, it's been home to the Pure Fun Skate Park, one of the longest running events in the sport's history. So you can bet your bottom dollar that people from all over the world are coming to pay Livy a visit. But with that said, the park is still about 30 years old and has seen plenty of wear and tear over the years and very little upkeep. The park is falling apart, and while many of the locals are doing what they can to save Livy, the future of the park is a bit up in the air, no pun intended. But there's still plenty to do while you're there, and new things have popped up here, and there are two major extensions with bowls and hips. And you know, a skate park doesn't have to be the nicest in the world to be one of the gnarliest. Number 5. Lincoln Park Thrasher Magazine will tell you that the next entry on our list is the gnarliest skate park in the world, but we'll leave that up to you to decide. Lincoln Park brings skating back to its Los Angeles location, and it's designed by the former Bones Brigade member Lance Mountain, and if it's good enough for him, then it should be good enough for everybody. Lincoln Park was about 9,000 square feet and built on a hill to give you that extra push and the extra challenge all at the same time. But despite the thrills of the hills, Lincoln Park is a great place for beginners to cut their chops and see if they've got what it takes. There are plenty of obstacles at this awesome LA-based park, and they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. And the best part is the dedicated beginners area is plenty far from the rest of the skaters, so if you've been around the block, you won't run the risk of slamming into anyone and losing your cool. We all have to start somewhere, but we also need to pay respect to the folks who have paid their dues. You can bet that Lincoln Park has all sorts of handrails, ledges, and a big flat ground section. But things get really interesting when you make your way over to the multiple bowls, advanced transition and ramps, and the awesome snake run. Number 4. Stoke Plaza Stoke Plaza in England is definitely one of the biggest parks in Europe, but it's also probably the absolute best skate park in the UK. This place is absolutely insane and offers skaters 34,000 square feet of pure concrete to shred the gnar all over. And it's safe to say that you'll be totally stoked on Stoke Park. Because it encompasses all sorts of transitions, bowls, rails, stairs, you name it, they've got it. You'll think you've died and gone to heaven when you're hitting all those nasty little gaps for your tape. The giant flat section has all sorts of flat banks, stair sets, rails, hubbas, manual pads, and ledges, so your days of skating your way around security guards trying to sweep you off your board are over. Stoke Plaza is pure freedom, and everyone around you will be there for just one thing, skating. But don't worry all you bowlheads out there because the designers of Stoke Park didn't forget about you. There's a whole section of bowls over at the side of the park, ready for you to turn on, tune in, and drop out. The bowls themselves are relatively small, which makes for a pretty tough challenge as you reach high speeds catching all sorts of air over and over again. Number 3. Guangzhou Skate Park China sure knows how to build things, and so their skate parks really take the cake. Guangzhou Skate Park is one of the most popular skate parks in the country and was crowned the biggest skate park in the world with 182,000 square feet of pure bliss and total mayhem. Their city planners sure knew how to pick the location, because the park sits amidst 10 universities, so hundreds of thousands of students can hit the pavement when they're done hitting the books. The entire thing is actually part of one of the country's extreme sports complexes, and with a park this big, it's sure to have literally everything under the sun. But this park does come with a few catches. For starters, skateboarding is a relatively new sport, hobby, lifestyle, and culture in China, so many of the citizens have never picked up a board before. Some have never even heard of it. But the next problem that the Guangzhou Skate Park has faced is all of the accidents. Much of the park was built with shoddy materials, and it unfortunately closed down until things could be fixed. But if you build it, they will most definitely come. And so if the Guangzhou Skate Park proves itself again, then hopefully it has what it takes to be the greatest skate park of all time. Number 2. House of Vans House of Vans. This is an interesting one because it's tucked pretty tightly underneath the stone-walled arches of the UK Railway. More than just a skate park, the House of Vans in London is a total experience. Yeah, sure, you can bring your board here and hit the mini ramp or drop in the concrete bowl, but there's plenty to do once you've had your fill. Store your stuff in one of their lockers and grab a bite at one of the many food vendors, grab a beer, see a show, hit the gallery, or even pick up a new deck or a pair of shoes. If ever there was a Disneyland of skating, the House of Vans is it. The park itself offers both street and vert, and it's on the smaller side, so be ready to hit some last-minute maneuvers to keep from crashing. 
This UK venue is a popular place for street artists, photographers, filmmakers, musicians, and even some pro skaters to hang out and be fully surrounded by skate culture. It's for sure a mecca of skating. Number one, Dave Armstrong Extreme Park. Skating can be pretty extreme, and so it's important to have a skate park that reflects that. The Dave Armstrong Extreme Park in Louisville, Kentucky lives up to its name, with 40,000 square feet of space. The park opened on April 5, 2002, when skating reached peak mainstream popularity in the States. But what really put it on the map was when the Birdman himself, Tony Hawk, graced the park with his presence during the gigantic skate park tour. To this day, the Dave Armstrong Extreme Park is one of the most popular skate parks in the world, due in large part to the 24-foot full pipe that'll keep even the best skaters' heads spinning. Most people aren't going to even attempt the pipe, but there really is something for everybody here like the eight pools, all of which are different sizes, and the rails, stairs, and fun boxes. This place totally rules, and street and vert skaters alike are all going to have an awesome time here. And believe it or not, the park was demolished to make way for a new road in 2015, but the city was able to rebuild it within the same year. You cannot hold this place down. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.